Hi, my name is Tara and on behalf of FontBundles.net, today I will be showing you different ways to access fonts and print fonts on your PC. One of the reasons that I know I like to print some of my fonts is when I have a bundle of fonts that I've purchased, say from FontBundles.net, and I'd like to see what some of these fonts look like side by side but I would like a hard copy next to me when I'm creating a project online rather than me having to keep going into say Silhouette Studio or Cricut Design Space and keep checking each individual font. By having them next to me I can reference to them very quickly um, and decide what font that I like for my project. Another way, another reason for keeping fonts um, organized and say a font manager is so you can actually keep on top of your fonts because you tend to find that with a lot of bundles many fonts are very similar so you might want to at some point delete certain fonts that are very similar. Now the first way um, today that I'm going to show you and the easiest way to check out a font and print a font is going directly to the source. So if you go to the folder that you actually have your fonts in um, and for me today, I'm going to look at the summer bundle and go to the Ulinda font. You can double click on the font itself and a pop-up box comes up that you will see and you will know this pop-up box from when you install your font. Well, the other option here is you can print it. So by clicking on print and then choosing the printer that you would like to use, you can now print that font out as your own personal hard copy, re copy reference. Now, for whatever reason you don't know where the font is stored, you may have got a free font somewhere or misplaced the font, you know, installed and then not known where you've put it, you haven't put it in your folder that you keep your fonts, you can do this a different way. So you go to the start menu, you go to the control panel, and then you go to appearance and personalization. When you get to this, this um, screen, you go to fonts, and you click on preview, delete, show or hide fonts. Now by clicking on this, the PC will bring up every single font that is installed in your computer. This includes fonts that come with the PC, come with Word and the bundles and other fonts that you have installed yourself. And all it is to do then is just a matter of scrolling through and finding the font that you're looking for. So for us it's Ulinda that we're using again from the Summer Font Bundle. We can now click on it and we have the options up the top here to preview it, delete it or hide it. Now say you don't know where your font is installed, this is a really good and easy way to delete your font. Um, but if you click on preview, the pop-up box that you use to install the font will then appear and again you can click on print and print your um, font. Now you can also use um, a font manager and there are hundreds online that you can choose from but I'll show you two that I quite like. The first one is Nexus font. If you look in the blog post there will be a link to Nexus font that you can go to and you can just follow the prompts, download it and install it into your computer. So when you click on Nexus font, which I will do now, You can see that it's scanning your PC for fonts. And once it's finished scanning, they will all appear. And as you can see, all your fonts have appeared here on the left. And if you scroll through, you can see that they're in alphabetical order and you've got a basic sample text there. Now, for whatever reason you would like to see specific words or text, you can actually go here into the sample box and say it's, you know, something like www. And you can see that the words come up here for you and you can scroll through. So now we can have a look for um, Yolanda font here, we can scroll down and there it is. Or if we don't want to look at that way, we can also go in the search bar and you can type it up the top here and it will find it for you. 
Now from this point here, you can then print any fonts you like. I find this a really good program if I would like to print a hard copy of all my fonts in a specific bundle. So say for example, the summer font bundle from fontbundles.net, you download it, you install it, you can actually come here and highlight several of the fonts. I'm not saying these are in the, in the bundle, but you know, you can highlight several fonts, all the ones that, that happen to be in your bundle. And then you can go to print and you can see that it will print it for you. Um, and you can change font size to so say you want them a little bit bigger. So I can go up here and do 26 and it prints it bigger for you. Um, and you can click as many as you like. And it's a great way to keep a record of the fonts, partic you know, particular fonts that you like. You can even title it for you. And you can call it the Summer Font Bundle and you could write where you got it from, whether it's got a commercial license. And then you've got a hard copy. So when you're doing your next project, you can quickly flick that out and go, right, I like font one, font two, font four. And it's a really, really great easy ref reference to use. Once you've done that, it's just a matter of going to the printer that you want to use. Um, depends on which one you want to use. Clicking OK and then hitting on print and that will print it for you. The last one I'd like to show you is Fontbase. Um, if you have a look in the blog post, there is a link for font, Fontbase as well. So you can just go to that link, um, download and install the program, and then you can have a look at how it works. But I'm going to have a quick show for you now. With this program, once you have clicked on the program, you can see it's now loading up the fonts that we have on our PC. Once the program has loaded up, you can see that all your fonts are on your PC. I really like the sleek style of Fontbase. Um, it's only available for Windows 7 and higher. The only thing I do find with this particular program is that it does take a lot longer to load than Nexus font. But I do find that the image themselves are, and the text is a lot clearer than um, the Nexus font. I also like that it's very easy to change the size of the font here. Um, you can also change what you type as well. Which is easy enough to do. Um, and you also have the option that you can check um, lowercase, higher case um, numbers, positioning, you know, swashes and all the different types of parts of a font itself. Um, the one thing you can't, you can't do with this is print the fonts that you like. Um, but that's what I use Nexus font for. But if I'm actually wanting to really have a good look at the fonts, I find this a really clear um, app to use as such. You can also make favorites and things like that. So there's specific fonts you use all the time. You know, you can click on one and then you can highlight as a favorite um, that you'll really, really like. Um, yeah, so, and when you finish with it, you can just close it off as so. The other option you can do is use programs like Silhouette Studio. You can type your different fonts in there and then change them. You can do the same thing with Cricut Design Space and you can do the same thing with Word as well. These three different programs, though, will take a lot longer to do than something like Nexus Font or, um, or Fontbase. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and given you some ideas on ways to uh, manage your fonts. Um, please read the rest of the blog post. Um, thank you very much. Bye.